It's a 99, baby, it's my favorite time of the day. But it's a 99, baby, can't wait to hear what they have to say. All right, number nine, take a look at one of the largest sapphire gems to reach auction in 30 years. The stone was found in Sri Lanka. It weighs in at whopping 118 and a half carats. Each circular link of the necklace is formed by tapered baguette diamonds and connected by pear-shaped diamonds. The design, if you're in the know, echoes earlier Bulgari designs from the 30s and 50s. Experts have awarded this stone an exceptional grade. The estimate will bring in anywhere between three to four and a half million dollars. The action is set rather for May 23rd in Hong Kong, so there is time to save up some money if you'd like to purchase this. You know, here's the problem with these. Where do you wear it? That's why I was wondering. I mean, I'm going to Applebee's on the weekend. You can't just throw that <laughs> on. To Friday. No. With a wrap. Dress, yeah. you know, it's no. not much, you know. Don't yeah. you your own security team if you're going to wear that? Yeah. Too, you think, right? yeah. I don't. My wife like, doesn't fit yeah. a necklace like well, that. That's going to force you to have a better life. Maybe. Is what that's going to do. <laughs> Maybe. You know, it's a nicer restaurant. Dress for the, the life you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Take it up a notch right. or two. Uh, number uh, eight. It's all about fluffy headbands, RN. Oh yeah. That's right now for the uninitiated. Mm. What these are, let me tell you what they are. They're part crowns. Okay. They're part pillows. All right. And 100% cool girl status symbols. Oh. They are all over the top oh. and the grand. And I can tell you why. You ready? Like you don't already know. They're adorable. Oh, look. They at hold it. your hair back during your morning and nighttime skincare routines. Oh. Plus, they're washable in case you get any gunk on them. Wow. Uh, the true fluffy headbands are from a beauty company called Versed. But don't you worry, we found lots of dupes out there. The rule is simple. You go fluffy or you go home. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was a good conclusion. Yeah. Remember the big velvet headbands? I had one of those when I was in college. <laughs> yeah. And then the big bows with the low pony. You remember, well, you wouldn't yeah. remember that. No, but no, it no. Was, we had the top knot one for yeah. a while that was really, really I mean, popular. I, oh, the 90s. I can never figure out how to put my hair was going to be like this. Mm. Good times. Mm. Anyway. All right, uh, number seven. <laughs> Uh, let's just pause on this Monday morning to take in the sights. It's the old CBS. Oh, Cherry blossom season, and the blossoms are in bloom. It's a sure sign of spring, newness, longer days, warmer weather. The promise that summer's getting closer. A lot of hope for the hopeless. <laughs> really mm -hmm. yeah. poetic, Yeah, Paul. thank you. Yeah, just breathe that in. Yeah, a lot of hope for the hopeless. Yeah, yeah. lots of hope. Yeah. Mm. We're getting closer <laughs> there. Mm. Isn't that fun? Uh, I love that a cherry is. blossom. Yeah, especially on TV. Yeah. Can't beat it. It's better than being there in, in real life. It's better than yeah. smelling yeah, the sweet smell. All right, number six. Coming up in the uh, list, I've got some hacks. So here's something we found. Uh, right. Tips on washing your pillows. Oh, okay. It's something people don't think about, but we should. You're talking about actual pillows, not just pillowcases. Right. Experts say washing them two to four times a year will do. Okay. Oh, I don't think I forgot. Pillows can get pretty gross, yeah. so you're going to want to wash them two at a time. Okay. You Use a small amount of detergent and use warm water. Then you put them in the dryer for about an hour. Right. If you don't want to wash them, toss them. And a reminder, dermatologists say pillowcases should be washed weekly. Well, yeah. yeah. There was something I read, though. When you do this pillow thing, you're supposed to put them in the dryer oh with a tennis ball. Is it a tennis ball or something to keep them fluffy? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I think the cat, <laughs> the cat likes to step on them. Every kid, you don't like that guy. <laughs> there was a, just Google it. There's some yeah. kind yeah. of hat that you're supposed yeah. to yeah. Yeah. Look on TikTok, yeah. you'll be fine. Some candlesticks. So yeah. Candlesticks, candlesticks and a vase. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you no. recognize the cycle that just... <laughs> You started uh -uh. thinking out loud. Yeah. You were going to dispense some information. Yeah. yeah. You weren't sure about the information, yeah. Yeah. so you told them to look up the information on their own. <laughs> but that's good that you tell yeah. people to do that yeah. research. I mean, yeah. if you don't know, you, yeah. do, you don't know. Well, yeah. I'm just reading yeah. what's in the script, okay. but yeah. I think you're yeah. supposed to put something right. else in that dryer. We're supposed to lead to curiosity, so if you Thank want to be curious, Thank you, Lauren. Nobody Finally goes for answers. Up here. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Number five now. They come for more questions and uncertainty.
<laughs> Some dream scientists say that it is possible to choose what you dream about. Oh, good. And suddenly, 14-year-old boys oh, across no, Chicago are celebrating. <laughs> it's called lucid dreaming. Ah. That's when a person is aware they are in a dream and can influence events within it. Wow. Only 10 to 20 percent of people are regular lucid dreamers. If you want to give it a try, experts say these steps may help. All right. Set an intention during the day. What does that mean? Uh, tell know. yourself what you want to dream about okay. at night. All right. Before bed, write down what you want to dream about right. and then put it in a good hiding place. <laughs> uh, but be brief. Okay. If you notice yourself dreaming while you're asleep, Stay calm. Uh, Experts say you don't want to make yourself wake yourself up too soon by getting excited. Yeah. And get yourself one of those sleep journals to keep track of your nighttime thoughts. Wow. Well, that's that's a load of crap. I yeah. think it's a load of crap also, but boy, it'd be exciting if it worked. Do you have to keep the lid, the note under your pillow? <laughs> So it well, goes you know, up your mother to find it. You should probably <laughs> put it someplace more secure. How do you not wake yourself up I out of the know. dream? Yeah. Is where it's complicated for me. I was in on all of it except for that last. Yeah. Uh, that was the only part that you thought was. Like, yeah. Right, I don't know if I can not wake myself mm -hmm. up or rush through the dream. Hmm. Number four, strawberries are in season this time of year in Japan. That's right, the crop peaks in wintertime. Despite being a summer delight, to recreate an artificial spring in the winter months, farmers grow the fruit in huge greenhouses heated with giant gas guzzling heaters. Most Japanese farmers have stopped growing strawberries during the warmer months. Instead, in the summertime, Japan imports most of its strawberry supply. The wintertime cultivation began several decades ago as a means for competition between farms to market strawberries earlier and earlier in the year. Oh, interesting. All right. Number three, let's go back to the 90s. You know, back when Paul had hair and oh, yeah. spray butter was spray all butter. the rage. Oh, yeah. Lots of companies had their own spray butters. None were as popular as the version made by the brand. I can't believe it's not butter. The product debuted in 1994 when people wanted alternatives to fatty condiments. I can't believe it's not butter spray became the go-to substitute. Wow. Plus, it was easy to use. Yeah. The company's commercials even starred Italian-American model and actor Fabio. Mm, yeah. But spray butter would lose its allure after a while. In 2005, butter sales reclaimed the lead over margarine. But if you look around, you might still find some spray products on the shelves. Mm. I never had it. Yeah, I keep saying we had the spray. Mm. All right. Uh, number two, there are two groups of people when it comes to vacations. Those who plan ahead and those who go with the flow. Which one are you? Those who plan ahead love the rush of a challenge to fit everything they want to do into their itinerary. This approach is for people who want to maximize all their time on a trip. However, it can lead to disappointment when things fall short of expectations. Those who prefer to go with the flow find adventures out of the joy of not planning. The winging it approach works best for those who are willing to rise to the occasion in the face of uncertainty. Wow. And a dramatic for a vacation. <laughs> a little bit. Dramatic, but yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, number one, it's National Joe Day. Here's a compilation of famous Joes from Joe DiMaggio to Joey from Dawson's Creek. Uh, we don't get to all the Joes, so don't come after us on this, but here's a good collection right here. Oh, <laughs> Joe from Pax of Life. <laughs> oh, Joey Florence. I didn't even recognize yeah, him. Yeah, he looks a little different now. Yeah. Joey Ramone, right? Oh, there's Joe, Joe. Joe. Siwa. Yeah. Oh, Joe. That's Joe. Oh, yeah, that's Joe. Look at that Joe. Joe, there's another Joe. It's like they're begging us to make fools of ourselves because yeah. we're yeah, going to misidentify like five people, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that's the nine at nine. Nine at nine. It's a whole 